Hey guys, the objectives of this video are to discuss different distributed load combinations and to examine triangular distributed loads. So we'll start off by looking at this example here, which is a beam that is loaded with two different UDLs. So we can see the UDL in red is a magnitude of 10 kilonewtons per meter and it acts over this two meter span and this UDL in blue is 5 kilonewtons per meter and it acts over this 4 meter span. And we've been asked to find the moment at B that's caused by these two distributed loads. So from our previous theory, we're going to be um, converting these distributed loads into equivalent point loads. And from there we can do our moment analysis. So we're going to start with this blue load the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw in the lever arm. So we're going to draw in how far away from B this distributed load um, acts at. So we can see that it's, it's four meters long. And from our previous theory, we know that for these uniformly distributed loads, the equivalent point load will act at their center. So since this is four meters long, this distance here between this point load and B is going to be two meters. So we can write that in, that's two meters there. And similarly, we do the same thing for this red load. And we have this acting over a distance of two meters, but it's already four meters away from B. So this distance here will be four plus one. So this in actual fact is going to be five meters.